guys, so today we're going to start off with applying our eye makeup. Um, I'm going to apply my foundation and everything afterwards so that way if there's any fallout I can clean that up. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadows in this um, tutorial. I just recently received these so I'm very excited to dry them out and use them in this tutorial. So let's get started. I'm going to be going in today with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I hope you guys enjoyed last month's um, all of my products and everything I had. I did kind of my collection videos and I know there were some weeks where there were only one. I do apologize for that. I hope to get back in the swing of things. We were moving and getting everything set up. So it has been very kind of stressful and um, very busy. We were also on vacation in that amount of time. So we've had a lot of things going on got a new dog and so much things going on uh, but I hope to get back in the swing of things of doing um, two videos a week in fact my computer is still not even set up yet so I hope to get this video record or edited in time to get it up so that I'm not missing another week but we will see hopefully my husband's gonna help me put that all together today then to set our lids, I'm actually going to be using a Naked or uh, Urban Decay shadow. I'm going to be using the shadow um, Foxy just to sh set that primer. Okay, and now we're going to go in with a um, now we're going to go in with cream soda, and I'm going to use this today just as a transition color in my upper crease area and I have not used um, any Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows yet I have swatched these and um, so far I'm very impressed with them the way that they swatch they are extremely creamy and um, I really want to order some more of them I've heard a lot of great things about them I just have never purchased them before because they are higher end um, but they actually, I found out they have some bundles where you can get the little bit better deals on them. So I decided to go ahead and buy some of them. And I will be buying a lot more of them now. Because to me, they are definitely worth it. But it is 4th of July weekend, so I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday weekend and having a good 4th. Then I'm going to be going in with the shade Sienna. And this is another ABH color and applying this directly into my crease and these are very pigmented so it really doesn't take a lot of this product at all to apply and it is starting to storm here so I'm sorry if you can hear the thunder I don't know how well this back part of our house is gonna be on sound but it's really kind of it sounds loud to me so I hope you can't hear it in the video then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend these two shades together. Then I'm going to bring that sienna and I'm going to add it to my outer corners and our lights are flickering. I hope the power doesn't go out. I'm going to add the sienna to the outer corners of my eye. Now in my old room, I... Um, had lights or windows where I could have natural lighting and in here I don't there is no windows in this room at all so I have to use my studio lights and this back here is going to be my new background um, which I actually painted um, onto the wall so it's not an actual background or anything like that it's actually the wall that I painted myself so um that we will now be always seeing my background and once I get the room set up I want to do like an actual kind of um, new room tour for you guys um, I don't think I'm gonna actually do maybe a house tour or anything like that but I will do a new little room studio tour but it's still not totally set up okay. then I'm just gonna go back in with Foxy and I'm gonna blend these shadows up here with that upper brow area just because that red is really looking kind of a big difference with my skin tone. I'm going to blend them together a little bit so it's not so harsh. Okay then for my favorite shade that I ordered, um, this color is so pigmented 
It's definitely one of my top two. This is totally, it is Hannah by ABH. We're gonna be applying this to our lid today. It is so pretty and so pigmented. It swatches so beautifully. I cannot wait to try it on my lid. And I'm gonna be using the NYX Glitter Primer. This is another new product I've got. This isn't new. Well, it is new, but it's been out for a little while. But every time I go to Ulta to try and buy it, they are out of stock. I have tried the one here where I live in Illinois. I've tried the one in Chicago. I've tried one of them in Evansville. They are always out of stock of it, so I finally, even one time when I went online to try and order it, they were out of stock, and that was right after it came out. But finally, the other day when I made a purchase, they had it. So I'm going to, and I'm just going to apply this directly to my lid. I've heard really great things about this, so I'm very, very excited. It feels pretty sticky, so I think it will work pretty well. But it's not like too sticky. It's just pretty tacky. But I definitely don't think you need very much. Like I think I got too much. Then I'm just going to be taking a lid brush and applying that directly to my... And it applies just as beautifully and as pigmented. And you can pack this on however thick or thin you want it. I would just make sure everything is covered and depends if you're wearing it throughout the day. You might not want it as dramatic as if you're going out for the evening. And this is all very red, so I'm going to take actually a little bit of dark brown and just darken up the outer um, corners of my eyes with a pencil brush. That way there's a little bit of definition to it. And add a little bit of it into my crease as well. And we're just going to take a tissue and clean up the fallout. And clean up the lines of the eye. I would normally use like a wet wipe or a makeup wipe for this, but apparently I still don't know where they are at. Or either I'm out of them. That's possible. Then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and I'm going to apply some brow gel. This will help the Anastasia brow pomade to stick where it's supposed to go. Let that dry for a minute. Now I'm going to go finish up my face and I'll be back in a minute. So to finish the under eyes, we're going to go in with the same colors that we used on the top of the lid with a small pencil brush, which is henna. And we're just going to apply it directly on the bottom lash line. Then I'm also going to take that dark brown and a little bit thicker pencil brush and apply that as well just on the outer corner. Then we're going to go in with our Rimmel London um, waterproof eye definer in the nude and we're going to apply this on our waterline. This is going to help open up our eyes since we are using such a red kind of it might make them look a little bit more close so I want to go in and make them look more open and awake
see the difference in the eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the Made You Look Night Owl Eyeliner and apply a wing liner on the top of the lash line. Go in and we're going to curl our top lashes. And we're going to apply our Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This is by far my favorite mascara at this moment. I've had a sample that I've used for a while. And then I finally purchased the full size product the other day. And then I'm going to apply the same mascara on the bottom lash line. Okay, and then for my lipstick today, I'm going to be using a nude color. This is Nantucket Nude, and this is by Trey Shirley, and I don't think I said that correctly. But this is just like a little crayon, crayon pencil type thing. That's what it reminds me of. And it's a very uh, matte and nude lip, but it's also very creamy. And this is the finished look for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed and would like to see more videos like this. And please don't forget to check... I already said that. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.